Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the new Live Maps feature coming up in Roadeng version 9. Live Maps gives you direct online access to free imagery and DEM data. So for this example, I'm going to be showing you how to bring in a piece of imagery behind our current LiDAR data set shown here on the screen, as well as our shapefile with our road network. In order to use Live Maps, you need to do two things. The first of which is to make sure that your project is geo-referenced. So you can do that up in the module setup projection tab and you can see here that this project is set for NAD 83 Oregon Lambert and the next thing you need to do is just select a couple features or a group of features that you want to have the live maps data behind. And those selected features are shown here in Magenta. Okay, so let's access live maps. So that's available through the home tab, uh, web mapping, and we're going to just want to press the import button. Within the Live Maps dialog, we do have a few options. We are able to control whether we want our satellite, street, or even some really low quality terrain DEM data, uh, as well as we can control our map source. Okay, so I've gone ahead actually before this little video demo and taken a look, and I'm happiest with the Bing data, so let's select that. Okay, and all we need to do from here is just press Save and Load. So when we press Save and Load, it does give us the ability to control the image quality that we're bringing into the background and this is done through uh, the number of tiles that you import. So let's just adjust here, uh, increase our quality a little bit but we're not going to go all the way to the massive ridiculous multiple hundred megabyte file. Let's go with this uh, 44 megs. Okay, let's hit save. Uh, just press OK, pass that warning and let's download. So this can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the number of tiles that you have decided to download. <laughs> and of course your internet speed. Okay, so save the image uh, as a file name. Usually we try to recommend putting it in the same folder that your project data is currently in. Okay, and now we're faced with our import options dialog. The only changes we recommend here, adjust your image quality all the way to high. And if you want to put a washout in, this is a spot you can do that as well. Apply the transformation to bring it into our current coordinate system. Okay, and we have our new geo-referenced background image. So in terms of best practices, one of the things we do recommend actually is to take that background image, save it as its own terrain file, and then bring it back into your design file again. So to do that, all we're going to do is invert the selection of our current features. So that's going to select everything that's not the image. Uh, we're going to hit delete. And then we are going to save that as its own terrain file. Reopen our previous terrain file and bring that into the background. Okay, so we just right click Active Plan Window Options, select the Background tab, and let's add that file. Okay, so now we have our finished product. We've got our current terrain model which has our LiDAR in the background, our shapefile, network, road network, uh, as well as this new uh, live maps image we've brought in and I've just adjusted the washout here just to make it a little bit easier to see. But thanks for watching the demo. Hope you enjoy the feature.